a that that's a uh, the, the, folk, the, the f folks that showed up and you all were treated to a tremendous conference game in November. That's a high level game. <clears throat> that's a really good team. The reason why they're picked to win the Sun Belt is the reason why they've been back to back NCAA tournament. So a terrific win for us. Uh, really proud of our group. Um, if someone has it, I'd like to know how many. How, when they, did they, how many of the first possessions did they score in a row before we got to stop? We made their first five shots. So the first five possessions, because yeah. they were shooting 100 percent at yeah. some point through the, one of the media timeouts. Uh, so that's where I want to start. With. Our defense won the game tonight, guys. Make no mistake. 22% uh, field goal percentage defense in the second half, plus two on the glass in the second half. So um, our defense won the game. Thought we were outstanding. Tough team to guard. You know, we did a really poor job on Price early, let him loose, which you can't do. Uh, fans so hard to guard. We were in foul trouble. They were in foul trouble. Obviously, we lose a guy. Um, well, we had somebody kind of step up. It was really, really nice. You know, I had the kid in here, fifth year senior. I don't play him barely the last two games. Uh, keep telling him to be ready. And we don't win the game without Usain Bolt tonight, folks. Okay, what you look at, what stats you look at, what uh, we don't win the game without him tonight. So really proud of him, happy for him, and a lot of guys. We made a lot of plays tonight. Free throws uh, were terrific. We made them when they counted, and uh, it's nice to see the ball go through the net for these guys. They've worked really hard. Um, so we've taken 2,800 in the last 24 hours outside of practice as a team. So paid off. Now we've got to be more consistent. But a lot of really good things. Um, I'll, uh, the Pittman situation, I, I don't have any grip on it right now. I haven't seen it. I'll look at it. I'll deal with it. And so there'll be no comment regarding his situation uh, at this point until I get an idea of what's going on. Any questions? How impressive was it to see Chris and Kareem really rally the troops uh, once Pittman left? Yeah, you know, I, I, I'll be honest with you. I never felt, you know, uh, they jumped us early. We had the situation. We did, I just never felt like we were out of, like, out of sorts, even though you know the score was a little discrepant, I felt good, you know. And I think our kids are growing up before our eyes, you know. What I mean, like you said, Canty and a couple of the other guys. I thought, <clears throat> especially early and then late, I thought we played with much better poise, uh, handled, managed the game well down the stretch. You know, we didn't play too skittish. Uh, so uh, you know, we got we're, we're getting better. That's the most important. Thing. We're getting better. We a long way to go. But we had a guy step up tonight. Sean Smith gave us a great jolt in the second half. We started him in the second half. It's a big three. So a lot of, a lot of things are coming into my mind. But, uh, uh, you know, just a great overall effort for our, by our group. Coach, your help defense, to me, look better than it has all season. You guys really helped up with each other, made, made the easy shots difficult to come up. Yeah, we were really in good position. We, sh we scrambled well in our rotations, and I thought we did a good job in that regard. I think the biggest problem I had really is how disappointed I was how we started the game defensively. We were just like, let them score. We let, kind of let them score. We had no resistance. You know, we kind of played soft to start the game, which is very atypical of my team. I think when I go up and watch it after, I want to say it might have been seven possessions they scored. Take those out, now go do the field goal percentage defense. Uh, but you can't, so don't get me wrong. But uh, we were, to answer your question, we were, we were really good defensively, especially in the second half. You know, uh, We kind of just went straight man. We were able to contain the ball pretty well. Um, uh, big play was Fant fouling out. You know, we got him into an isolation. Taylor drove him, got the fifth foul. It was a huge play because he's a, he changes the game because of what he, the, the attention he draws inside. It really shrinks you, know, makes you collapse the floor, and they can shoot the basketball. With all those fouls, you also took advantage of tonight on the free throw line. I'm sorry. I said with all those fouls, yeah. you also took advantage of the yeah. free throw line. No doubt, we, we shot the ball well at the line. We had guys go up there with great confidence, and we knocked them down. It gets contagious a little bit. Tonight was a good example of that. And, more importantly, we made him win the count in the second half down the stretch. Ten, 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 ten of our last 12, if, I, if I'm correct, down the stretch. So nice job finishing the game at the foul line because you're, you know, you're in a foul situation late. What's it say about your guys, though, when, when Pittman did leave to kind of rally around each Tough. other? Tough. Tough. Next man up. I'll deal with that situation. Uh, it'll be handled and addressed. And we'll, but uh, I, think, uh, I think it shows we got a lot of good players. Uh, I think we got a lot of tough kids, and I thought we got a lot of great fans. I think it was an exciting game in, in November. Uh, great crowd, I thought, under the circumstances. No students, weather's a little crappy. Uh, really, uh, 
and they uh, they got treated to a terrific ball game, and I think it showed. Uh, you know, we always use you overuse words of character and all that. Just tough, tough suckers right there tonight. Uh, toughness won the game. Toughness won the game, and uh, it's a good, 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 good step for us in the right direction. You know, and uh, we'll build off. We got to build off it now. You know, we got to exhale. We got to regroup a little bit. A couple days here through the holiday to get ready for East Tennessee State on the road. Uh, so that'll be our next challenge as we turn the page relatively quickly. So. Chris's explosiveness by the end just seemed to be something that Western Kentucky just couldn't seem to handle. I mean, is, is that one of the reasons why you've kind of moved into the starting line or just start that explosiveness off right away? Well, he's a talented young man. I think I've shared that with you. I think he's only getting better and better. Well, he figures everything out. Uh, uh, he's hard to guard. He's got great explosive quickness. It doesn't take much for him to find a seam or a crack. And when he does, he's kind of slithery and slices and dices, and he can finish it. And one of his best qualities is he's a great finisher. And he can spin, you know, he can create shots, he can finish shots around people, over people. He uses the backboard really well. I know this is, you might think that's fun. It's, it's a lost art, to be honest with you. Uh, making layups in traffic, he can really do that. So he's really hard to guard. He's got guys getting in the ball in the right spots. We got in transition. When we made the run, to close it, to close the gap, then we kind of lost it, and then to finish the half was a big one. I think 8-0 to finish the half was probably the biggest run we made to get it down to six, I think, at the half. Uh, we opened the floor up, we're pretty good. You know, we talk about it all the time. We've got we to gotta be a better rebounding team consistently, because if we can be that and we get open, you know, we've we got so many weapons in transition, you know, our guard play, you know. What was your plan to bring in, of course, he was, he, he joined your program late in the summer. What was your, pro, what was your plan to bring him along to where you now can start him? And where he, he could have a breakout game today. Uh, the plan is to, uh, to squeeze him every day. He can't breathe. To be very honest with you, uh, I've coached him as hard as I've coached any kid. Cause I think he's really talented, but he, I don't think he's. I don't think he grasps everything. I don't think. No disrespect. He's kind of bounced around. So this is the first time he's been in an atmosphere in a climate where he's being taught and and, and, and being held accountable day in and day out on and off the floor. He's been he's been tremendous. He's been tremendous. Uh, and I think he's got so much more uh, potential. Uh, you know, he's making good progress. You know, and you know, I, I please don't misinterpret. I don't, don't get hung up on the starting thing. Please don't. You know, that's not. I think that's don't. That reflects poorly on maybe the guy I took out of the lineup, and that's not the case. We just kind of shuffle things. And tonight, Chris was a big, big jolt, and one of the big reasons why we won. But many other guys did as well. And when you look at Kareem, I mean, is this the point where you know when you recruit him and bring him in to be not just the distributor but the floor general? Is this yeah. one of those games where this? I didn't think he played great. I didn't think he played great. I didn't think he played great. But what I was pleased with was his composure. Mm -hmm. It was his team. When he came back in, he picked up his throat. I sat him for a few minutes, to kind of steal a few minutes. When he came back in, it was his team. He, he, he had control of it. Huddles. You could see it on the film. You got. You guys are talking about it. You're referencing. It was his team, and he wants that responsibility. Embraces that responsibility, and we finished tonight. Mm -hmm. That's not something you see for him. First-year player from a freshman, a lot. When might have helped last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>